When visiting Mtanzini, there's no better place to stay than Mtanzini Forest Lodge, situated right on the beach with their own private entrance. You are surrounded by tranquility from the moment you drive into the lodge. <laughs> hey, Ray, how are you doing, my man? When fishing the banks, the best is to go in a spring low tide or any low tide for that matter and find the right banks you can get to the bank. From there, a short, long, medium cast, any cast will do if the fish is around. Morning, guys, we're on the banks and a uh, couple of objectives and challenges today. But first off, I heard there's some raggies and sandies around. So all the guys, as you can see, there's lots of people on the beach here and all of them will be throwing baits, nice big diamond baits or similar and uh, I'm going to opt to start off with a slide bait. The reason being is just to get further than all of them and I want to put that big, big mackerel out and maybe stand a chance for something else. Then the main challenge is the new Saltus 12 foot 6 spinning. This is uh, built for artificial and you can also double it up for bait fishing. But what better way, now everyone was waiting for this, a 12 foot 6 for plugs, spoons, everything. You can get it that extra distance into the waves for the bigger cob and the garrick. And what better way to test it than onto a diamond. So I'm going to take this rod and I'm going to try and catch a diamond on it a bit later. First off, I'm going to start with that slide bait. Get that out and then we'll, we'll switch to this. But look at that. Ah, this is a rod. Now this, this is so versatile, you can do all your edible fishing pretty much on it, scratching, you can throw your plugs, your spoons, everything, and then today we'll check how it pulls a diamond, if we're lucky enough to hook one. Alright guys, using the heavy duty, my favourite, 200 pound, two tenner, mustard catfish hooks, for that big mackerel, and the kingfisher heavy duty slide. Just going to show you guys how I'm going to hook this, very simple. Cut the tail off, and that I do so that it doesn't spin in the water and tangle. Oy. Proper big mackerel. I know Atkins got some in stock, guys. If that's what you're keen on getting, just slip that off, slip that off. The carrying hook, the top hook, make sure it's nice and solid through the hard part. And then my assist hook, stick into the gills there, push it through, and now it's so tight there the way I cut it that I don't even need a toothpick, but we'll stick in a red bead toothpick for luck. It's too long. All right. Let's go take that. It wasn't long and a diamond skate took my bait as well. It's going left. It's really lovely when the diamonds are thick like that. Almost everyone on this beach is getting a chance to hook one at least and fight them. So I put a slide out to try and maybe get a sandy or a honeycomb or one of those species. 
but still a diamond ticket. So I'm going to switch to the new Salter 12 foot 6 and see if I can lure in a diamond on one of those. It will be a very good tussle. Look, it's still sucking, so it's going to battle with that. So hopefully, when I'm ready, the tide turner starts pushing. But I want to show you guys if you walk with me. Guys, right here in front you'll see a deep gutter on our left. That sucks out the whole time. And that's a lovely spot to start fishing. We're just to the right of it. The wind's blowing northeast, so whatever sucks out there is pushing in front of us. Um, perfect spot to fish. So now here's the challenge. I've tied a nice little small bait with a 5 ounce grab. I'm not even going to open it. I've got a, a 6-0 Mustad catfish. 49 strand, a small piece, and then I've just got 0.75 uh, Maxima Ultra Green. The 5000 Saltus with 30 pound J braid, and then the brand new Saltus 12, 12 foot 6 spinning rod. A rod you can double up for everything. It's meant for spinning, it was designed for that. Spin big poppers, big spoons, and get it quite far. The first 12 foot 6 of its kind that I'm aware of, but today we're putting it for proper test and see if we can hook a diamond on it. I'm very excited about this. Guys, you see Roy on there, on one of the light Daiwa sticks, rods, um, that he's modified for himself, and that's going to be a long tussle. That's what we're all trying to do here. He was the first to go on. Unfortunately, his fish ended up in the rip. Alright guys, now the, the rod Roy is using was one of the test Saltus 12.6, the one I'm trying to get a diamond on, that he got from, uh, I don't know, he negotiated with Kingfisher to get that blank. And uh, the test rod, so it's exactly the same blank. And uh, that's going to be a good fight. And like I said, that's what we're trying, yeah? I can't wait to hook something decent like that as well. The conclusion was breaking off. was it what I wanted to achieve with the new slim power spin saltus rod the 12 foot 6 there was no shortage in the backbone of this rod but I also ended up in the rip which made this a much bigger challenge after a while I managed to get the diamond out of the rip by putting a lot of pressure the saltus 5000 helped in this objective as this fish didn't take more than 10 meters line thanks to my saltus drag the new Salter spinning rod and uh, what a fight I think if it wasn't for that saltest reel the 5000s drag I might have been in trouble a bit but I managed to stop it with that drag 30 pound braid on there and not a bad size I actually want to measure it quickly Three fingers from the eye. Now landing a diamond like this on the tackle I used was a whole new experience. Almost like breaking your PB. In fact, catching one fish like this on the light tackle is almost better than catching 10 on the normal tackle. Okay guys and girls, one word 
respect this rod. What a way to test the new 12 foot 6 spinning rod. It's a thinner, heavy fast spin from Daiwa, the saltest. Just came onto the market. This is one of the first ones that actually arrived yesterday afternoon and they brought it through for me. And the objective was to hook a decent fish on it. Got that really nice diamond on it now. And I must say the, the 5,000 salters drag won that fight in a big way. I said I've got 30 pound on you, but I suspect it's 20 pound. I can't remember what I put on you. I'll go back on the videos, but I suspect it's 20 pound Jaybro. And then I used a 6-0 uh, Mustad Catfish, 49 strand surflon, and then just 0.75 for that on the bite trace. Little 5 ounce sinker with a whole mackerel. I took the head and I folded all the flaps onto it, all the fillets. So this little rod cast a 5 ounce sinker with a whole mackerel and it did the job. That's what I wanted to achieve today, job done. And uh, we're going to be here another one or two days. And so keep a look out at what else we managed to get going on, uh, on the rods and reels and what other species we can maybe target. There's obviously a lot of diamonds in the area as you can see, which is so great. All the guys getting a chance to, to catch something and fight something. A lot of grinder rods. That's why I started with a, with a, with a slide and the Saltiga 50HA with a big, big mackerel just to get it a bit further to see. But it seems to be just some diamonds around. The gentleman behind me here has got a diamond out now for probably an hour and a half, two hours on a live swim bait and no Zambia's picked him up. So it looks like diamonds is the trick here. So we'll move maybe to some other spots and see what we can get there. But thanks for watching and keep on watching. Remember to subscribe and a little message we got. Guys, it is free to subscribe, so you're welcome to subscribe. Thanks, guys.